flat bench dumbbell flies are a fantastic isolation movement for your chest muscles. They're fantastic for developing the chest and for isolating the chest. So you don't get a lot, lot of help from your triceps and shoulders like you might through a bench press or something like that. So yeah, they're a great isolation exercise for your chest. So a couple of things you want to focus on when you're doing your um, flat flies is you want to keep your arms locked in one position the whole time. So those elbows are locked the whole time on the way down and on the way up. The problem I see with a lot of people when they go to do heavy flies, again, they're probably using a weight they shouldn't be. They're going overly heavy. So on the way down, they tend to bend their elbows and then the movement becomes a press. So you want to use a weight that's relative to your strength, keeping those elbows locked, coming all the way down, getting a nice big stretch through that chest and then concentrating on coming up together. So coming down, feeling a nice stretch, and then on your way up, you want to be squeezing that chest together as much as you can, like you're trying to crack a walnut at the top of the movement. With feet positioning in this movement, some people prefer to have their feet up on the bench, some people prefer to have it down. The ideal thing you want to do with your flat flies is you want to try and have that lower part of your back flat on the bench. When, once your back's flat on the bench, that means you're engaging your core and keeping that strong. If you're arching too much, then you're laxing that that abdominal area. So a rule for beginners is you really want to just get your feet planted on the ground. That, that's the most secure way. It's going to give you the best balance through the movement and assure you're not going to fall off the bench whilst you're doing it.